From the Greek tragedy to the interpretations of Don Quixote, in the first part of this series, we made a simple review of the history of literature, and we stopped short before arriving at Romanticism, which we will talk about in this second part. These curiosities are arranged chronologically, from the beginnings of literature to more recent times. In the first part we saw some curiosities about the Iliad and the Odyssey, the Divine Comedy, Don Quixote and we learned that it is a classic in literature. In this second part we are going to see some curiosities about the evolution of the novel, what was realism, the influence of Dracula, or why Ulysses by James Joyce is considered the most influential work of the 20th century. 26. The Castle of Otranto The Castle of Otranto, written by Horace Walpole, is considered the first Gothic horror novel. It was published in 1764 and in the first edition it was presented as an old Italian text from the 16th century, perhaps to give the work greater realism. 27. The Ballads A ballad was popular poetry that narrated a story, it was usually accompanied by music and was widely spread during the Middle Ages and the 19th century. 28. Romanticism Romanticism was a literary current that emerged at the beginning of the 19th century, it was focused mainly on the individual, subjective feelings and emotions, and the imagination. Giving free rein to passion, Romanticism was also a reaction to the exaggerated rationalism of the Enlightenment. 29. Faust Faust is hailed as one of the greatest plays ever made, and it is also one of the most famous in German literature. The work tells us the story of Faust, a great scholar who feels empty, for this reason, he ends up making a pact with the devil in exchange for his wishes being fulfilled, and also adds the condition that, if the devil gives him Faust a moment so pleasant that he wants to prolong it forever, at that moment he will die. The author, Johann Wolfgang Goethe, finished the work a few months before his death. 30. The Brothers Grimm the Grimm brothers are known for their great work in collecting local folklore tales. Influenced by the rise of nationalism and cultural pride, they began to collect fantastic tales from German folklore. Although initially this work was aimed at adults, it was very successful among children, for this reason new editions were released with more innocent versions of the stories. 31. Northanger Abbey Northanger Abbey is a novel by the English writer Jane Austen, which satirizes the Gothic novel. In the book, the protagonist is a young woman who, inspired by the Gothic novels she has read, imagines gloomy and mysterious scenarios during her visit to a friend's farm. 32. Mary Shelley Mary Shelley is one of the most famous authors of the Gothic genre. He began writing Frankenstein at the age of 18, when on a stormy night on a farm, at a gathering of friends, the poet Lord Byron challenged those present to write a horror story. 33. Novel in Verse Although it seems that the novel can only be written in prose, some have also been written in verse. An example of a novel in verse is Eugene Onegin, by Alexander Pushkin. The work bears the name of its main character, Eugene Onegin, and narrates his adventures, and how at the end of his life he regrets having distanced himself from the people who surrounded him. The author, Alexander Pushkin, is considered the greatest Russian poet. 34. Honoré de Balzac Honoré de Balzac is one of the leading French writers of the 19th century. He attended the famous Sorbonne University in Paris, and left a career as a lawyer to devote himself to writing. His great ambition was to write the human comedy, a monumental work made up of 150 works, made up of novels, essays and philosophical texts. Unfortunately, the author died before finishing this project. 35. Blades of Grass Leaves of Grass is the best-known work by its author, Walt Whitman, who is also considered the greatest poet in the United States. In the book the author expresses his philosophy of life and humanity, and also contains celebrations of carnality, sexuality and nature. The work is written in free verse, breaking with the literary models of the time and also raised controversy for its references to homosexuality. The author is also known for the use of one of his poems, O oh Captain, My Captain, in the movie Dead Poets Club. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Gentlemen. <laughs> 36. What is an allegory? An allegory is that work that contains a meaning or message expressed symbolically in it. Some examples are Moby Dick, by Herman Melville, or Animal Farm, by George Orwell. 37. 
Victorian Literature Victorian literature is called British works written during the reign of Queen Victoria, which lasted from 1837 to 1901. The works of this period usually describe the society of the time and contain moral teachings. Writers such as Charles Dickens or Oscar Wilde belong to it. 38. The Bronte Sisters Charlotte, Emily, Anne and Bronte were three great writers of the Victorian era, at first their works were published anonymously, but they were well received and over time their fame grew. His stories contain mystery and a gothic style, they reflect Victorian society and its problems. Over time, a feminist claim to her works was made. 39. Moby Dick Belonging to the so-called Dark Romanticism, a branch of Romanticism that emerged in the United States, Herman Melville's Moby Dick tells the story of a sailor who follows the captain of a whaling ship in his quest for revenge against a giant sperm whale that took his leg. It is a dark work full of symbolism, for each of its various characters, the great whale represents something different, such as evil, madness, the limitations of man, the terrible and insensitive nature and even the incarnation of man's limitations. 40. The Serial Novel The serialized novel became very popular during the 19th century. Thanks to cheaper printing, paper and shipping costs, mass production became easier and people found it cheaper to buy installments in booklets than a complete book. One of the first to make novels in installments was the British Charles Dickens, although at first, he was advised not to do so because it was considered an inferior and cheap form of literature, the success that Dickens had was tremendous and prompted other authors to make novels or other delivery jobs. 41. Crime and Punishment Crime and Punishment is probably Fyodor Dostoevsky's most famous novel, and was initially published in installments, like the works of Dickens. The novel tells us about the life of a young student from St. Petersburg who, due to his poverty, ends up committing a horrible crime. During the plot, the thoughts and psychology of the characters are delved into, topics such as the meaning of existence, suffering, guilt, redemption and love are discussed. The novel had a notable influence on existentialist authors such as Jean-Paul Sartre or Albert Camus. 42. Naturalism Naturalism was a literary movement that arose in France in the 19th century as a reaction to the passionate imagination of Romanticism. This movement was interested in telling in detail the hard life of people belonging to the lowest strata of society, it sought to relate situations objectively and in a quasi-scientific way. Its main exponent was Emil Zola. 43. Aestheticism Aestheticism was a movement that proposed what they called art for art's sake, that is, that a work should be considered solely for its beauty and rejected any attempt to link it to a moral or social purpose. This movement arose in Great Britain at the end of the 19th century and one of its greatest exponents was Oscar Wilde. 44. Dracula and the Movies Dracula is one of the novels with the greatest number of film adaptations in history, in fact, there are at least 150 films that have the aristocratic vampire as a character. In his time the novel was also well received, however, its author, Bram Stoker, did not make a fortune with his best novel. 45. Kafka and Existentialism Existentialism defines its thought that the reason for people's thinking and feeling is anguish, which occurs when we recognize the absurdity and meaninglessness of life. Franz Kafka's work is related to existentialism, although the writer never declared himself an existentialist. Despite the fact that in his work we can see that anguish, as in Metamorphosis, where his protagonist feels it when he sees himself turned into an insect, and even more so when he sees his family's apathy towards his situation. 46. James Joyce's Ulysses Ulysses, by Irish writer James Joyce, is considered the most influential work of the 20th century. Its plot is simple, it recounts the adventures through Dublin of its protagonists, Leopold Bloom and Stephen Dedalus, on any given day. But what makes this work important are its literary innovations, its author was the first to masterfully apply a technique called the interior monologue, which consists of the natural representation of a character's flow of thoughts. The author also used the styles of different movements, such as Romanticism, or Naturalism, among others. Another interesting fact about Ulysses is that, in its original language, English, its author used around 30,000 different words, making it one of the works with the largest vocabulary in English literature. 47. Why is he called Ulysses? 
Joyce's great work owes its name to the protagonist of the Odyssey, whose Latin name is Ulysses, and in his novel, the Irish author identifies him with Leopold Bloom. Just as the Odyssey chronicles its heroes return home, Joyce's novel chronicles its protagonist's journey through Dublin. On the other hand, he associates Telemachus, the son of Odysseus, with Stephen Dedalus, and Molly, Leopold's unfaithful wife, with Penelope, the loyal wife of Odysseus. On the other hand, each of the 18 chapters of the novel has parallels with the different adventures of Odysseus. For example, in one of the chapters, Leopold Bloom argues with a xenophobic nationalist, his closed perspective representing the limited view of the Cyclops. 48. What is the Bildungsroman? The Bildungsroman, or training novel, is that work in which the development towards maturity or growth of its protagonist is told. The Magic Mountain, by Thomas Mann, despite being a parody of this genre, is also an example of it. It tells the story of a young man who visits his sick cousin in a sanatorium in the Swiss Alps, he also falls ill and his stay lasts for several years. There he meets several people and each one tries to instill his thoughts on life, also being a philosophical work. 49. Lolita and Censorship In the history of literature, there have been many censored works. Some examples are The Portrait of Dorian Gray, by Oscar Wilde, for its homoerotic passages, or Ulysses, by James Joyce, for scenes classified as obscene. However, if there is a work that to date continues to raise controversy, it is Lolita, by Vladimir Nobokov. The novel recounts the sick attraction of a European teacher for certain types of minors that he calls nymphets, and his relationship with Lolita, a 12-year-old girl. This argument is enough to shock the public, since the novel offers almost nothing obscene. The work is also valued for the great use of the author's language, due to its highly worked prose, embellished and full of literary allusions and puns. 50. The Latin American Boom The Latin American boom was a literary phenomenon that consisted of an explosion of interest on the part of the rest of the world towards Latin American literature. Its authors used innovative techniques such as perspective changes or nonlinear time. Among its main authors are Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Mario Vargas Llosa and Julio Cortezer. We have reviewed the literature and there are still many topics to talk about, others to delve into and many more works to discover. If you like this content, please like and subscribe for more.